Hello, 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 and welcome. I'm going to talk about auditions and some things about auditions from my book, which is I Will Not Grow Weary. It is on Amazon. All right, when you go to an audition, a lot of times the way that you look, the way that you act, um, the things that you've chosen to do on the audition cannot exactly be in your favor. So I'm going to go over some things that I wrote down. How are you standing? Are you standing on one leg, which is straight, and your hip to the side? Are your shoulders slumped forward? Are your hands in your pockets? Ugh. All of these, they show that you aren't ready. You're, you're expressing weakness, insecurity, lack of confidence. So now I'm going to show you now, now, I'm going to be standing here. Hi. Ugh. I'm down. Now, look at what happens. As I lift my body and I put my shoulders back, I look totally different. So when you go to an audition, a lot of times you don't realize that the way that you've been standing when you talk to people, when you're, you know, you're walking somewhere, you're thinking about things, you're in your phone, is down here. You're going to be aware of your standing now when you go to audition. Shoulders are back. The chest is up. It's really important that you watch that. OK. Shoulders should be back, showing the body in a confident and ready mode. Stand on both legs. It lengthens your body. Remember the fighter stance of action and readiness. Now. I wrote about this in the book. And when you stand with one foot a little bit in front of the other, it's the fighter stance. It's the stance like you're ready to go run. And it has action to it. Also, um, when you're standing on both legs, like I said, it gives you length. OK? And the other one is sort of, OK, here I am. It's down like that. The same thing is when you're standing and you're slumped down. And you want to exude. When you're standing in front of judges, you want to have that confidence. You don't want to stand there looking like, well, I'm not quite sure whether I can sing this song. I'm not quite sure of how I look is OK. You've got to exude confidence. Hands in the pockets are usually there because you don't know what to do with them. It feels comfortable, but take them out. Even if you catch yourself the, at the audition with your hands in your pockets, slowly take them out. Practice keeping them out when you practice. If when you're practicing, you, you know, you... A lot of times people will come in and they'll have their hands in the pocket when they're doing the exercises and we're starting to, to work the voice. And I say, take your hands out of the pocket. And it sort of seems like, well, that's really not important. You're practicing that. You don't want to practice having your hands in your pocket when you sing. And if you're practicing for a show, another thing is, I have people that sing their songs during practice with the glasses on. And I say, take your glasses off. If you aren't going to have glasses on when you do the show, then don't practice with them on. Oh, oh, oh I won't do that. I won't do that in the show. Or this, you know, when you're practicing. Or fixing the hair here or there. I'm not going to do that when I do the show. You're practicing that. How you practice is how you're going to perform. You might think you won't do it, but so many of my students have gone to performance practice, which is when they do everything exactly as the show, lights are on, and here we go, and guess what they do? They forgot to take the glasses off. They mess with the hair. The hand goes in the pocket. All of those things they said, I won't do that, they do. And they go, oh my gosh, I didn't realize. You don't realize because you've been practicing that. So remember, when you practice, don't practice 
the mistake. Practice the right things. Do it when you practice. You'll do much better when you do your show and or when you audition. Okay, now where was I? Stand when you practice. Don't be uh, fooled that you have practiced enough at home. The problem is that when you're in front of judges, when you're under the gun, it is so easy to make mistakes. It's so easy to have a problem come in. Stand. Do it as if you were doing your show. It's the same thing there. When you go to memorize your words, memorize them more than you think you're ready to do when you're sitting at home. You just don't realize that you're too relaxed. When you're at home, there's, there's really not that edge. When you get on stage, when you go to an audition, all of a sudden, there is so much more pressure on you that you thought you were even more prepared at home, and I had it. I was, everything was fine when I was at home. And then you go, oh my gosh, I, I, I was like, I was nervous. I was even more nervous than, than I should have been. Well, a little bit of nerves is okay, but you could be way more nervous because you didn't practice enough at home. All right, so always practice way more than you think you need to. If you have auditioned before and made some of these mistakes, learn from them and don't do them again. Get back in the ring and audition more. So a lot of times, if you've auditioned and you've made mistakes or you've auditioned and it, and it went really badly and you just like, oh my gosh, you were shocked. Or you did a show and it turned out really bad. There, was, there were notes that you didn't hit. You know, it's easy to run away. It's easy to go, oh my gosh, I, maybe I should just slow down a bit. Maybe I shouldn't go to an audition. Or there's auditions there, well, I don't think that one's for me. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll do it next week. You know, the fact is that you got to get back in the ring. It's, it's not easy, and you are going to be afraid, but the bigger part of you wants you to succeed. So if you're thinking, oh, I can't, and it's going to happen again, what you have to do is fight that with a positive statement. Fight that with actual practice. Fight that with, no, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to get back in the ring. I'm going to practice even more. And I'm going to fight myself by actually stepping forward and doing. I'm going to do another audition. I'm going to do another show. And you'll work hard. Why? Because you said to yourself, I'm worth it. You believe in yourself. You believe that you can do better, and you're going to fight and do better. And yes, the fears will come up, but then you turn them around and say, no, no, no. I'm not going to give in to that. I'm not going to keep worrying about it. I'm going to do the things that are going to make me better, and I'm going to get back in the ring. Okay? You're worth it. Your talent is worth it. Don't go this way. Let's go this way, okay? All right. So my call to action for you is subscribe, ring the bell. You can also buy this little book here, I Will Not Grow Weary. It is about my life, and it's also about, it's about everything about singing. So many things for you to munch on here, okay? And for you ladies, I've got to tell you, I have this group. It is so much fun. It's singing for a lifetime. And all we do are, is a vocal workout. We do that each week. So check it out at marquitawaters.com. you got lots to do, okay? So I'll see you in the next one, okay? Such a day, yeah. Such a matter of fun day, yeah, yeah, yeah.
Uh-huh. Bye, 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 bye. Bye.